Can I put my water behind your butt? Yeah, have oh, at it. Oh, never mind. There's no room. All right. Too much booty on the seat. Too much booty. Looking for love. Hey, gang. Welcome. Whoa, hi there. That's cute. Hey gang, and welcome to a brand new series that we are entitling uh, Looking for Love. I have with me two lovely lovebirds who are experts in the real life world of dating sims because they're married. Oh, and we're I thought birds. we were experts in the real life world of dating birds. Yeah. Is that not why you called upon us? That, that's, that's actually the primary reason. Okay, this, good. this, yeah, yeah. Only that's, in the birds. that's too much volume. Um, today we are looking for love in all the right places. We're playing a Hattleful Boyfriend. Uh, anyway, uh, this is my friend Juniper and my friend Senpai. Hello. Uh, his name is Senpai. It's not anything else at all. It's on my birth certificate. It's on his birth certificate! <laughs> Uh, so I have never played this game. Uh, can I? <gasps> well, oh, cool. I, I also need to read this. <laughs> there are so many languages. Got um, lines too, man. Yeah. <laughs> I have never played this game before. These two are experts, uh, and they are going to give me no advice whatsoever. It's it's completely blind for me, and they're just going to shake their heads or nod their heads. Welcome to Saint... Pigeon Nations? Saint Pigeon Nations. Saints so. Pigeon Nations. Please Pigeon. enter your name. Pigeon Nations. I always say Pigeon Nation. But... Hyok. Mmm, do I want to go with the predetermined? No. Don't do that. Yeah, you're right. My name. Ah! <laughs> My name is obviously. Raffle Hog. That's not an O. Hog the third. That's oh, I. What's your last name? Uh, your last name should be the third. Just spelled out. I like wonder if you need third. Can you go back? Well, can I go back? I... Is there any going back from this? <laughs> I think the only way I'm you have... You could be redundant and <laughs> The only way you have to move is forward. Rock Hog the you third the third. <laughs> So it's that makes you like <laughs> Brothel Hog the Ninth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Look at the suggestion. Brothel Hog the Third Degree. Yes. Three. For example, for like, God damn it! I can only go to the Third Degree. Okay, look, Brothel Hog okay, the Third, so the so Third that's, Degree. That's as, that's as far as you get then. There are the, no no more characters. <laughs> Is Brothel Hog the Third the are Third Degree? Okay? <laughs> are you okay? I'm not okay. <laughs> I am wonderful. Bless. Can I? Hmm, I think this is my cho my chance to change it, mm -hmm. but screw that. That's a pretty hot name. <laughs> Howdoful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization model, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? No! I feel strongly. But that. then that art will go to waste. But the art of the birds will go to waste if you display the human portraits. Are but these birds... Or are they humans? They'll only be humans the first time they're introduced. Yes. Oh, you're not driving. Oh, that's right. They, yeah, they show up one time. Okay. And never then mind. after that, no, you're, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, just once. It's like even the birdiest of birds. <laughs> Saint Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my. Oh, it's, this is you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess seeing as my name is Raffle Hog the third, the third degree. Uh, it's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say the school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of diverse, made up of a diverse blends of birds and different backgrounds and species. <clears throat> I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. <laughs> not every day I see you rushing along like this. Hello, bird. Uh, Ryota. Who's Ryota? That's you. you too. Okay. Usually you have been ready for an. Uh, usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Rob. Hug the Ryota? third. You want me to take Ryota? Sure. Oh, oh what a cutie. This rock dub is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. It's the first girl! Greetings, this is the canonical route. 
<laughs> he can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard. Oh, the, oh, that's me. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might. No. I might take you up on that <laughs> offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Cheapers. Cheapers. He's late on the first day. <laughs> late on the first day of school. Oh no, where's my toast when I need it? And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all, it was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. The most splendid and great, greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. First term. Excellent. I love the real life pictures of birds. <laughs> I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope you all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Every birdie? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this My Little Pony or something? Christ in it's heaven. My Little Birdie. Er, I'm my Little Birdie! <laughs> er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I see. Okay, he has my re the voice now. Okay. I specialize in math and physics and also some other, other things. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's a narcoleptic. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! <laughs> he sleeps with his eyes open? He's a cutie. This quail is Nanaki Kazuyaki. He's a famously sophomoric math professor. Us. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Even this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, is, isn't it a little warm in here? Yes. Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. <clears throat> Please, introduce yourself, Shirogami. That's me. Oh, wow, look at you. Now, listen to the music, and then, uh, okay. then your voice should emerge. I need to turn up the volume for this. Where's my remote control? I can't live without the music. Where the fuck yeah, did actually, it go? Yeah, actually, the music is a part of this game. That you should <laughs> also understand that he's French. Oh, that that would have been a nice clue. Um, well then, if he's French, I know exactly what to do. What is the point? There we yes. go. Perfect. I have no wish to speak with commoners. I do not think I am here because I do not think that I'm here because I wish to be. <laughs> oh well, I guess that's that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! That's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <sighs> Shirogane le Bersakye. See, okay. I am a French man with a Japanese name. <laughs> that, that's, that's been my thing, because if he's supposed to be French and his parents are French, why is his name Sakuya? Well, LaBelle? Yes, I don't yes, know, maybe he was born in Japan, and I don't fucking know. It seems anyway. this fan tale is uh, Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> he's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I like him. <laughs> Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Fuck me. Huh? Glasses. <laughs> is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Uh, did you want something from me? 
he looked away. <laughs> not, not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Y yes, I, I don't want anything with you. It's things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? <laughs> he silently returns to his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm the third, I'm the third degree Ruffle Hog the third. <laughs> like the voice is now changing. I'm the third degree Ruffle Hog the third, a sophomore. What about you? <laughs> You're... You're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Um, a freshman. Oh, he's a co high! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Goals. It's it's done. That's the one we're going for. Go <laughs> straight for Nageki. Yeah, yeah you fucking kidding me? Do you know who my favorite character in Galaxy Angel is? Do you realize who we're dealing with? It has been decided now. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. NEVER! <laughs> He's reading his book again. Okay, okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> I don't remember who the other one is. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me at school. Okay, so you are also Yuya. Oh, who, okay. Now, he is the suave ladies' man. Yeah, he is. Oh. Oh. So he has this sort of voice then. Yes. Oh, come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? Oh, is he French as well? Come I on, mean, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother I after see. all of these years? My brother, you must be joking! I have never once been a- You have never once been a brother to me! Oh, are they brothers or- No, literal. They're literal brothers, okay. Please, don't try to talk to me again! I have no time for half brains <laughs> I will be going now. The only reason I told you just is because it's very- Yeah. Very hey, good. wait, just a- Oh. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's, do now what's done is done. Uh, rephrase. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sa Sakazaki Yuya is Sakia's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakia's? Ah! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you! <laughs> oh, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there was too cool. So is it- HE HAD GLASSES! HOLY f how did I know? Is it canon now that he only whips out his French accent in front of his brother to try to- Oh my him? god, that's- yes! It's- it's canon, guys! We made it happen! <laughs> this van tail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. Oh, and he's senpai. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. I thought that said fabulous. <laughs> You're Bravo Hunk the Third, right? <laughs> uh, how did you know? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. <laughs> did you say you were a friend of Sophia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? Nani? Nani! He's a bit of a pain. 
game. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. <laughs> he really is a noble bird. I n I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Twisty business. Well, that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah! Yatta! Huh? Sir, where is Ryota? Uh, he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Sreshmas. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. <laughs> There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Oh, they've got all kinds of... Whoa! They've got all kinds of drugs in here! Found the drugs! <laughs> what, be, uh, ethyl par trife lucio benzene? What did these even do? How do you even say these things? Now, alright, so for this voice, you're gonna want to be sinister. Uh, <laughs> doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. <laughs> No! <laughs> so basically, we're going with sadistic, sadistic Stein. No, thank you. <laughs> this partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with... Aspergillus. Oh, whoa, that music. Psychosis. Okay, do you know where your remote is? Because I, the music does add to this game. I literally have no idea where I put it. Is that it under the water bottle? Does it have purple? That should be good. Go. Much better. Yeah. Aspergillus? Uh, I'm not gonna even try and say those things, or worse things. You can give you Asperger's. Okay. <laughs> and I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Uh, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Hmm. He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. See ya. Just <sighs> channel your inner... <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Hey, those are pretty normal classes for a Japanese school. I suppose so. Actually. Migration? I mean, yeah, birds. I mean... That's, you know, where they tend to go overseas so much to study. Yeah. They go to migration, the migration yeah, club. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always fun watching the birds hop about. <laughs> I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> this is no pudding for a man! <laughs> He's dancing around on a squ squished pudding. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. I'll go sign his best life. I can't with this game. So you This is Okosan. Who, you can guess who my first choice was. Yes. <laughs> This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think? Either way, he's hyper. Ooh. Okosan has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Ooh. Okosan inst instructed that pudding be provided for new members! Ooh. But this is no pudding! 
Busted! Scorned! Betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! I am sorry about that. I will clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> the lid just flew off, didn't it? Yeah, I didn't expect that. Oh, no. I got a little in character. No, that's fine. There we go. I mean, as long as the, everything isn't dead, we're yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Equipment appears to be... Perfect. Functional. So. Oh, I snorted on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, guys. <laughs> Let's not put that water near the electrical outlets. Yeah, Oko-san. Come on, Oko-san. I get in character. <laughs> <clears throat> it's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Oh, oh. Spare the just young lady! Okasan used winged attack, it's super effective! Oh. They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan! He'll have them played! Hang! Shot at dawn, he will! Oh. Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell! <laughs> and he's gone! He's running loose. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Everything. Pudding has to do with everything. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. Oh. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Oh! Oko-san has time only for the track team! Uh, okay, that's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question! I earned the position here! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. <laughs> Nepotism! Oh. <laughs> Nepotism! Ha! Huh. Don't we get to vote? Just come to school is enough for me. Oh, you have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Join the... Decision decision point. Point. So can... Okay. Library staff! Ah, uh, yes. I always like to save, like, just before that first decision No, point. no need to save. Okay. I no, know, no. I know where my best girl is. Uh, no, I'm talking about, like, <laughs> as you do each route, and then you can just kind of oh, skip no. past everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, one. I mean, like, I, I know how some dates work. Believe me, I've played six Galaxy Angel games six times through each. At least. I save before the options. <laughs> Blind! Ah! <laughs> no. uh, that's, that's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Bring. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend... Wisdom 1, Vitality 800, Charisma 5. Math class, gym class, music so class. You're, you're after... No, you're it's after. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Stop. Well, my inner me says I should definitely go to music class, but my inner Chase the Best Girl says he's probably at math class. How do I save? I guess it's going to be... Or just hit it. What? Oh, I, you, I don't think you can uh, save before. during the decision points. Uh, it's be just perfect. before it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's silly. In Galaxy Angel, you can save right on the decision points. Well, Galaxy Angel doesn't have sexy birds. <laughs> this is a fair point. <laughs> um, not Jim, because Jim is gross. I don't know about you guys, but I was super feeling that human portrait of Oko-san. Yeah, that was great. <sighs> <sighs> Screw it, we're going to music class. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. <clears throat> wow, look at the human portraits of human people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how we save. Preferences. Cool. Cool. Rafa hung the third leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Fuck yeah, it did. 
if it increased by five, did that mean it was zero before? I, it was it five, was five before. before. It went up to ten right after that. Oh. I'm on receptionist duty today. <clears throat> Better hurry. Boring as you... Yeah! The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Anybody at all? Anyone? There's Any someone. birdie? No birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the window? Or off the building? The, the window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Did he just tell you to kill yourself? Yes. <laughs> Nageki, when did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're, you're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. Oh, you certainly seem to like this place. Yeah, is... Is that a problem? Ah, uh, I'm guessing it's decision time. No, oh, books are nice. Yeah, that's obviously the correct answer. No, go to gym, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. <laughs> Touche. You shouldn't slack off. Oh, that's you. Sorry. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. You gotta do your little glasses push-up. Ah, sitting at home is so I relaxing. Do I live in a fucking cave? Yeah, you're a hunter-gatherer. Okay, I'm still a human, though. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, help first. I think, I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Yes, hunt the udon. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... <sighs> Where's my boy? He doesn't go outside. I know. We'll talk to Sakya because he's cool. <laughs> Unacceptable. In a temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this on foot? It's a hike, Sakya. You have to walk. <laughs> This is exercise foolishness! Exercise is for peasants! <laughs> <laughs> no, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here, don't we have a nice view? Mm, in French. <laughs> <laughs> Sakya looks like he still has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. Scowls in French. Scowls in French, thank you. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Jeez, what a kid. <clears throat> nice he does, eh? Today's an elective. Wow, we are moving fast. What should I do? Attend? Okay, I understand. So that's for wisdom, that's for vitality, and that's for music, that's for charisma. Well then, charisma is how I'm gonna get myself some nice bird ass, so. <laughs> Today is music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. I. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> That's it for this episode, guys. Join us next time where we resume this fucking, <laughs> fucking stupid ass game. Jesus Christ.